Hello, what's up YouTube? This is TwinSparksDXZ. Today I have something different for you guys. If you watch my other um, live video, you will remember if you, I think I said something about another channel I had where I did tutorials. Hold on, let me turn this TV off. It's hard talking over TVs. Anyway, so yeah, I was talking about my other channel which had to do stuff and more live videos like this one. So, I still haven't had time to actually download because I lost the actual files for it and transfer them to this account. But, um, yeah, so today, the, the other videos I did was three part videos on how to do um, the whole P PlayStation 2 burn game and play them on your PS2 type deal. So, today, really, really cool, especially for you, those who have a PSP 3000 and you're all into the modding scene, um, the, you know. When I first got mine, I was very disappointed that it wasn't wasn't being able to hack. And that was like December, like halfway, it hasn't even been, we haven't even made it to the half point mark in the year where we're closed. And we have already have custom firmware for the play, PSP 3000. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright. Now this can also work on a 1000 or a 2000, but the reason I'm showing this is because it's on a 3000. Yeah. 3000, which I think is pretty cool, since everybody was like, oh, I'll never be hacked, oh, I'll never be hacked. So this is like a dream come true for modders such as myself. Alright, on the link, on the descriptions, I have um, a link to download something called Chicken Hen R2 in CFW uh, Downloader. So basically what I'm going to do is... As you can see, I have a 3000. That's one way to tell because I have a mic on it and you know, a little thing on the back. Two ways to tell. Uh, let's see what version I got. You gotta have version 5.03. If you have 5.50, I think it is. Um, kind of out of luck for now. If you're a modder, you know it's not good to upgrade all the damn time. Alright, ooh, crap, wrong place, alright, alright, the chicken hen R2 is just a TIFF exploit, and you're going to put that in the root, not the root, but in your photos, so it's going to look like that. Now, before I continue, there is some kind of problems with it, um, sometimes it doesn't load on the first time, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, I hope it works on the first time to save time on this video. Um... I had what I did. Um, I backed up everything on my computer and like totally re reset everything, format everything, and this got to work. But I don't think that's really necessary. I think I read some instructions wrong. So just click on the folder without scrolling, and it should do that. So if it doesn't work, it'll just freeze up on you and do nothing. But if it does that, it'll restart. Now with chicken hen alone, you can just play some simple homebrews. You can't play stuff, you can't do like R, IR shell and all the complicated stuff that requires plugins. Plugins won't work on here. But, you know, chicken hen was useful. I was using it to play Game Boy Advance. And it should say that. Now, you can do homebrews. Now get the custom firmware loaded 3.10 and start it up once you got chicken hen now see I already did I already did um I already did my uh, whole See, when you first put it in, when you first install it, it won't look nothing like this. Like, you'll have three options, and one of them will be install custom firmware. And it's going to load it to your flash. Don't worry. According to what I've heard, it's like 99.9% .9 secure. It shouldn't break your PSP, so no worries there. But, you know, let's just say, you know, you got all these options afterwards, and you can uninstall it. I'll, ooh, what did I just do? Okay, I don't know what I just did, y'all. 
Alright, I'll uninstall mine just to um, show you what it looks like at first and what you need to do. It's right, really simple, but just for the sake of confusion. And then to test it, I will be playing um, Bleach Heat the Soul 6. Uninstall. Alright. So now, I ne now according to my PSP, it doesn't have the custom firmware anymore. So, what are you going to do when you have Chicken Hen? I'm going to go to Custom Firmware Loader 3.10. I suggest you get uh, the early releases of custom firmware loader did not work on 3000s. This is like the latest version that works on 3000s. But like I said, this does work on all the, the slims 1000, 2000, 3000. And it's much easier than um, the whole Pandora thing. So it's going to look like that. You're going to get these three options. Flash and start. It's going to say, to proceed, you need to install custom firmware in Flash. Do you need to continue? Yes. It's going to do all that. Custom firmware installed successfully. Do you want to start? Yes. And then it will start it. And then... You can come out of that, out of that app. And ta ta da! You have custom firmware on a 3000. Now I don't really. I know I've heard a lot. I you know don't know other than playing homebrews and C CSOs and ISOs. I don't know really know what it can do. It said you can get a fourth brightness setting. Um. I know you can use this VH, you know, thing right here. Now, I'm not really, I'm not really familiar with the whole playing ISOs and CSOs, but if you want to do that, create a um, create once you got the CSO or the ISO, create a um, a folder in the root of your directory called ISO. Just call it ISO in all caps, and put your ISOs there. Uh, it didn't work when I tried tried the normal. UBS ISO mode, but when I tried that, it worked. So I don't know if that worked with everything. Somebody can correct me or make clarifications of that. Some out of that. Go into games. Now you notice that wasn't up there when I went into games before. See it works. Awesome game, by the way. As you can see, I'm playing as um, a CSO file on a PSP 3000. So yep, that's all there is to putting custom firmware on your PS3, I mean PS, PSP 3000. Very simple. I'm pretty sh sure a lot of people are related. You have um, Dark Alex, of course, and I think Team Davey do thanks for this. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment on down there. I'll try to answer them the best I can. I'll post some links that help me out. Download links over there as well. So yeah, have fun, man. Alright.